I have an announcement to make. I'm all done. All done. Hey there, it's Kara. Uh, I should have announced that a couple weeks ago that I was all done. I did. I announced it to myself and my dogs, but I did not announce it to anyone else. My little studio has been overrun with all the stuff that I've been collecting and amassing and all these fun things that I keep getting from St. Vinny's uh, for my projects. So I, I declared a moratorium on gathering materials. I have enough, I have enough, I have enough. The only thing I have permission to buy is more glue, if need be, and um, the occasional new toy. For example, I'm really hot on a, a tree stencil. Not for the tree necessarily, but for the, the veiny, spidery effects that it can give. I, I've been talking about that for a while. I may just order that. But as far as St. Vinny's Halls and all that kind of stuff, I decided um, until I use up and share some of my goodies with you, I'm not getting any more. Um, and yet, I found myself at St. Vinny's one day last week. <clears throat> I'm not sure what I was there looking for. I know I had a specific something in mind that I, I went there to find. Uh, but I don't remember what that is. <laughs> Funny how that works, isn't it? Just You just never know. So, I found this beautiful dictionary for $1.99. Um, I have a couple of them. This doesn't have the super, super fine um, Bible pages that I'm looking for, but it's nice. Uh, I think it'll it'll be a fine addition to my, plus it has all these great, look, pictures. Uh, so I, I uh, snagged it. And in their freebie aisle, they had, that's not it. Total lie. That's totally not it. They had this. That's not true either. I paid for this. This I paid 99 cents for this vintage book. I'm cracked. I don't know what I'm talking about. I, apparently I haven't had enough coffee yet today. I apologize. Um, beautiful little book of nice little dog stories. The best little dog stories. I don't know if I'll read them because I'm such a mush ball where dogs are concerned. Even if it's a good ending story, even if it's a really good ending, sometimes I can't. I just can't. For some reason. Chicken hearted, my grandmother would call that. But yes, indeed, that's what I am. Just a giant mush ball. But look, it was so fun. Um, the I couldn't find a date specifically for this book. Well, I, I did find that. I should Google it and then I would know. Uh, but the latest date in the, the credits I could find was 1948. So it's at least... I don't know if it came out right in 48, uh, but beautiful deckled edges, all nice and caramely, and I can't imagine that I would tear it up. It might become an altered book, maybe, because I want to do more dog books. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but love it up for now in, in my $2 dictionary. And I was so proud of myself, because that was really all that I bought, um... But as you know, or, or as I've mentioned before, uh, they have a fantastic <clears throat> freebie bin <clears throat> out in front of our St. Vincent's. And I always check that before I even go in. Um, 
And these all, this next whole pile was all in the freebie section. Holy smokes. Like you just don't even know what you're gonna find. Don't don't uh discount freebies because wow. This is a tour book, uh, like a touristy book. I'm sure that it was purchased uh, on someone's vacation um, from this place, um, all about the Vatican City. I used to live in Italy and my father was in the military and uh, we have some old books like this, uh, some old postcard books and some old art books like this. Uh, so beautiful. Of course, I would never be able to tear theirs up, but I could tear someone else's up. So for whatever reason, this one found its way into St. Vincent's and then into their freebie. Some of the old beautiful cathedrals. Look at that. Look how cool. So, so pretty. exactly sure what I'll use it for. I am doing an industrial type thing. I'm not, I haven't worked it all out in my brain, but it's got a lot of textures in it and industrial grungy. So some of these might fit in, not that that's grungy, but, or even industrial, but that mm, texture is, is a big thing, uh, a big part of that particular project I don't even have formed in my brain yet. And I didn't really see a date in here either, but I'll tell you what, she smells old. As you like it, I was thinking this was going to be Shakespeare something or other plays or whatever, but it's how to stage classic meals and gatherings. Oh my goodness, what fun! From Henry Walker, Allied Vintners. And right up my alley. Whiskeys and, and liqueurs and brandies and Kahlua, one of my favorite things in all the world. Nice little cookbook, how to pair things with what. I just thought it was so much fun freebie fun pictures nice little fussy cutting if I feel like it I have a project in mind for this too I will show you on one of the new theme Thursdays one of these days this book fair game who's on top tonight <clears throat> just a nice um nice clean cover if I want to use it uh, for a junk journal or an altered book clean pages uh, some fun numbers nice numbers to work I always tear these out um, when I do an altered book I, I keep the numbers as if I can um, if it works out that way for the tearing nice clean I haven't measured it yet I don't know if my papers will just fold over and fit in there but either way it was free I don't care also in the freebie aisle, freebie bin. Um, interesting little quotes, filled with lots of little quotes. Um, some minor clip art that I might tear up and use, I don't know. Some good words. Oh look, butterfly, why of course. Cheese and crackers, they're everywhere. Yield to the whim, I like that. I'll be able to find it again. Yield to whim. We should do that more often. Just, if we have a whim, go out on a whim and do something. If we just, just... It's okay. The rest of the junk will be there waiting when we get back. It's all good. That's why I'm here now. Imagine that. I am putting other stuff off. Well, it's videotaping a haul for you because we've established that's kind of what I do. Another book for altered book making or junk journal making. 
Again, it was free. One of my favorite price. I kind of like the colors, nice red and tan, so that would be kind of cool. Pages are in good shape. Um, these are kind of cool. The, that font is kind of fun. I'm wanting to get this done today so I can, this is on, on my seller sizer, seller sizer, and I miss bouncing in the mornings, but I'm just, I don't have the energy to empty all this stuff off to bounce, so it's just been sitting here. Um, also in the free bin, one wintry night, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful watercolor, so pretty, look at those papers end papers I think they're called um, just a beautiful it's coming on the camera very blue but it's a deep rich teal color it's so pretty and the pictures in here so beautiful I love watercolor illustrations I just love it this almost looks like um, colored pencil too Might all be colored pencil now that I get a super close look at it. Um, perfect for my, this is a, a woods, it's a Christmas book. This is, but the woods, that grungy would be perfect for that project I was just talking about. Um, some interesting phrases, I, I would use that for sure. Just fun you know, I, I could see Cat Hand tearing this up and making all kinds of cool little things with it. So pretty. Ooh, kitty. Look at all the frogs. I love this page. I, I didn't see this. I didn't even really go through it. I just saw that I thought it was a watercolor Christmas book and snagged it up. I didn't see the frogs till I got home and they're so fun. You know, they'd be fun trim or fussy cut or I think they'd be great to tuck in, hang over. So many fun uses for the frogs, for sure. Oh, so pretty. I love seahorses. Love seahorses, real ones. They're so gentle and delicate and sweet. Ooh, looky there. That's fun. More stuff for my... Oh, there's so many things in here I could use. For sure, for sure. Puppies. Very fun. Free. Free, free, free. They only had 59 cents on it. But it's summer. No one's going to buy Christmas books in the summer. That makes me insane. Doesn't... I just don't understand. People don't get like it's coming back Christmas and winter. In about eight minutes, it's going to be back here. Yes, yesterday was almost 90 degrees. I get it. You don't want to think about Christmas and winter, but they will be back. I promise you that. Here's another Christmas one in the free bin because it wouldn't sell because it's summer. So stupid. But um, again, I didn't even open this one until I got it home. These are pretty watercolors for sure books very pretty but what got me was this <clears throat> these are all little they're they're punch outs and they're on both sides same on both sides beautiful feather and fish and creepy clown I'm doing a shipping one for my uncle doing a lodgy one for my nephew this will be for my uncles my nephews my nephew he's a fisherman beautiful little fishing lure um i'm not quite sure what there's some sort of homemade christmas ornament or something uh, but what fun to cut up and use in uh, in my journals 
all that kind of free play, all that kind of play for free. Mom loves grapes. I'll have to give her that for her journal, for her project. And then plus the book with all its beautiful watercolor in it. So that was my St. Vinny's haul. Uh, I got home from that haul and my mom was parked out front with her new car or new van and she had the back open and it was full, filled to the rim. She, she had gone to a community fundraiser for a popular program here in town. Anyway, it was a giant, giant, giant garage sale. Um, and she knew I, I wouldn't go because um, I just don't go where there's people these days. Uh, so she shopped for both of us. She bought herself a whole bunch of things and she found me quite a few things as well. Um, and so, again, let's back up and reiterate, I said I was all done. I'm not getting any more stuff until I start using the stuff I have. My room is overfloweth, as is, and the overfloweth is going in the basement, and there's a lot of stuff down there already, so no more stuff. But I, I, did, I neglected to mention that to my mom. So here are the fun things mom found at that community garage sale. So for me, it's a freebie. Mom just dropped it off here. Um, so you never know where things are going to come from. You just don't. Old Book of Presidents. Um, I'm not sure exactly how I'd use it, but I have been collecting people's autographs, people's signatures from the magazines and whatnot. Usually the editor of whatever magazine, they have a letter from the editor in the beginning and they always sign it. And so I've been collecting those just for fun. So it's kind of neat to see each president's signature and then there's a little blurb about each president and some little factoids. I'm doing a patriotic slash, um, yeah, patriotic. We'll just go with that for my dad. I'm doing him a patriotic book, and I'm doing a military book for my uncle. So these um, will certainly be used in there. This old um, original rough manuscript of the Declaration of Independence. That'll go in somewhere. Um, my uncle's is military slash shipping, so that'll go perfectly in his junk, his altered book, excuse me. Um, so it's so crazy to me because I, I certainly wouldn't know to look for this. I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't think, oh, cough, I just had a book of presidents, the United States, pictorial history. If I only had that, my journals would be complete. I didn't even know such a thing existed. Holy smokes. I would sue the guy that's, that painted that picture. Does he really look like that? Like Beetlejuice? Big guy, little head? Really? I don't think he does. Um, may have been a big guy. May have had a small head, but really? Anyway, I wouldn't know to look for this for sure. But now that I have it, oh, what fun. I can find all kinds of uses for it. This ended with Gerald R. Ford, the 38th president, 1974. He was still in president, still president when this book was made. Clearly, sometime in the 70s. So big fun. Wouldn't know to look for it. Glad I have it. Um, these are little coasters, I believe. Yeah, coasters. Uh, I wasn't sure if if they're felt. I wasn't sure if they would make good stamps or not. Um, certainly on a larger book, they might do a front embellishment. They might not be bad as that if I, if they don't work as stamps or mark making. Um, kind of fun. This is so sweet. Uh, let me get this other stuff out of the way. The glitter makes it hard to focus. Something shiny. This is a little, like a cookbook you'd get at a fundraiser at a church or something where everybody, well, maybe not. It looks like one of those, let me say, where everybody puts in their own favorite recipes and you pay a publisher and they make it up for you. And 
This is a regular old cookbook. But look, look how tattered and well loved and worn out <laughs> this cookbook is. Apparently the only one they ever had, only one they ever needed. It's falling apart. These great old, there's food stains all over it and splash marks. It is so well loved. Look at the discoloration on these pages and they're all crimpled. I mean, you, oh my goodness, the fun of this. Um, kept all the pages, kept all the pages, even though they're falling out, they're just falling out. <laughs> um, and I don't even know, these don't have um, fringe. So were they ever even part of this book? Ah, they must have been. They just, the fringe fell off or the, they cut them off or whatever. <laughs> oh, so fun. So fun. All kinds of things. And every once in a while, I was flipping through it the other day, and every once in a while, I'd find a little something that they tucked in, a handwritten recipe or something they cut out of another this one looks pretty new. This one's from 2003. So someone stuck that in there. But every once in a while, you find something else stuck in there. I just think it's hilarious. I, I don't even, I can't even begin to know what to do with it, but it was so cute. It was so cute. Any ideas? Throw me some ideas. What would you do with such an old tattered thing other than use its pages? I am doing some um, some food related projects, so I, I, they might find their way into there. But <laughs> just oh, I just love it. It's like the only cookbook they ever, ever, ever had. Very fun. This is a field guide. Field guide. Field guide. Field guide. Blueberries. My favorites, my favorites, my favorites. Beautiful pictures. I'm doing a book with purple, all just purple, passion for purple. I'm doing that. Um, cut out some for Mom's Rose Journal. Some for my grab bags for sure. Uh, beautiful book. Just beautiful. And then, you know, all kinds of fun I, I love these different fonts and interesting stuff um, for backgrounds for clusters or corner tucks or whatever if there's going to be text I think it should be fun especially if you can read it if you're going to layer napkins and gesso all over it and you can't even read it who cares what it says but if you're leaving something to see um, if it's a botanical God forbid, uh, might be cool to have botanical words in it. Um, I'm all about matchy-matchy and coordination and everything kind of going together versus just um, mishmash of, of everything mixed in sideways and upside down. That makes my brain cry. Um, so I will probably use this. Plus it always has kind of neat font italics and Arched purple fringed orchid. I made a whole bunch of seed packets. This would be fun to put on the seed packets too. I think this I got at St. Vinny's in that little hall. It's kind of botanical, sort of. Um, but I think if it's just black, you know, if you and it's look, it's not, it looks like it's never been used. It's in beautiful condition so I like the wispiness of it and I think as a background it would be cool we'll see uh, these were some things mom picked up just miscellaneous letters 
It'll go, uh, the green ones will certainly go in my green traveler. I can find some kind of, something to put in my green traveler book with these letters and words. Um, some more stickers. Are they stickers? Yeah. They are stickers. They're kind of a pretty little font. And some. These are iron-on sheets for Cricut or Cameo. Um, so they've got, they must have a, an ad, they must have an adhesive or something on the back. But all kinds of pretty colors, black and red and silver, pink, teal. Very fun. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. And look, a little bonus, super cute snowflake binder clip. Outstanding. This thing's kind of crazy. It's a little too religious for my taste because I really am not. I don't. It's very religious. Let's just leave it there. However, it is. Chronicles of Days, News of the Past and the Days of the Bible from Abraham to Ezra. Um, some foundation in Jerusalem. And it's these old, old, old newspapers. And this is old. Um, the date on it is 2034, but I think we found it took a while though. I don't know, but you can tell, look how aged this is, and this isn't, it's not inked, it's, it's real, real life aging of this thing in these old, 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 old newspapers. So there's pages and pages and pages of this old newsprint, printed newsprint. Super interesting. Some interesting pictures and captions and old maps and all kinds of junk journal stuff to play with. Holy smokes, so to speak. Very cool. Mom got this from the sale, what to do till the veterinarian comes, sort of home remedies for the critters. This little thing was loaded with tiny little tiny little Christmas ornaments. Come on. It's a bunny. It's a bunny. Bunny in a boot. Uh, little houses. These are old. Are these? Little fuzzy bear. Fiddler. I don't know what, if anything, I'm going to do with any of them. I do have miniature Christmas trees, so it might just be that and not... Anything to do with junk journaling, I'm not sure. A whole bunch of these beautiful napkins, uh, material napkins, not, not napkin. See, there's some, see, there's some. Uh, good book covers, good folio covers. This is material, not necessarily napkins, but pretty, pretty, uh, material for journal covers cover uh, uh, altered books, cover um, if you're making miniature books, great little covers for that. If you're using you know, index cards or or uh, hanging folders or file folders and you're making miniature books or miniature journals, even regular size journals, there's they're plenty big enough uh, to cover books and there's quite a few of them here. In this really pretty, it's almost like a sage gray. 
kind of Christmassy poinsettia, but very, very, very pretty. Would so, and again, a truckload of them. I will keep some of them. They match my winter dishes, so I will keep six or eight of them. Uh, but after that, uh, game on for junk journaling covers. That's how that's gonna work. Gotta hurry up here. I'm running out of battery. I'm not plugged in. Oh my god! Oh my god! I will shed this whole bag full of their little foamies. Let it snow and snowmen. Let it snow and snowmen of different sizes. Um, these make good stamps. You stick them onto a piece of cardboard and good for mark making on jelly prints or stamping in your in your junk journals. This is fun. It looks like a Christmas sweater, sort of. Um, it's actually a shower curtain, gray. I just, I'm redoing my bathroom right now in gray and white and purple. Uh, so mom picked this up for me for my, for my new bathroom. However, I, I'm not one to change my shower curtain every 18 minutes. Um, because of each season, my mom does that. I don't do that. In fact, I just changed my shower curtain. I loved it, loved it, loved it, loved it, loved it for 17 years <laughs> so I don't see that I'll be changing it every season but we'll see I really like it so I might just do that check this out one dollar yes one dollar you're reading that right and what's in here what do you say what's in here look at all these look at all these vintage sewing notions uh, bias tape and lace of all colors, all styles, all widths and shapes and ages. One dollar for this whole flipping box. So as you may or may not know, on my Etsy store I have some grab bags. Um, lake season's coming. When lake season comes, I'm not running back and forth to the post office, so I'll be, I will be ceasing the grab bag uh, availability until after late season, but we're not quite there yet. So if you haven't gotten your box and I'm going to do a whole, I have a video on it. It's not the greatest video. Um, I'm going to do another video on what's in the grab bags here pretty soon. So keep an eye out for that. Look how fun this is for my dad's patriotic book that I'm making him perfect i didn't even know that was in there till this very moment how awesome is that that alone is worth the dollar but look we got red and black and whites different whites and ivories and pinks and greens and oh my goodness for a dollar cheese and crackers i love this box um anything that you can store Clearly, there's a storage issue for junk journal because <laughs> there's so much stuff. Uh, whopping 50 cents. Love it. Love it. Love it. Whole bunch of um, snack bags, lunch bags. These make great journals. Look up Cat Hand. Snack bag mixed morsels. I think it was 2020. Awesome sauce. Another field guide. Birds. Uh, dad's book with eagles and the lodge book for my nephew and who knows what else. I'm making a military book for my uncle all about World War One and World War Two. And this is A Thousand Letters from Home. I did just find, uh, this is written by a local man and he, he, uh, signs them. He must have done a book signing locally. Uh, and I purchased one and gave it to my uncle already just to read it. It's a first-hand account. It's letters from home from a man who was in World War II. <clears throat> and all of his letters to home to his, I think he had five sisters and a girlfriend and a mom and a dad. So he wrote a lot of letters. And they collected them all and put them in here. Um, I, like I said, I gave that to him. Well, this one I can I can tear up and put in, in my uncle's um altered book that I'm making him having to do with the wars. Um, I can't wait to show you that one. I think that one's going to turn out really cool, but I was so excited to find another version so that I can, I can tear it up. I feel bad. Poor bud, all his work and whatnot, but it'll be well loved. These are closing documents. 
um, things, but oh, I just see lots of possibility. Uh, lap books and larger journals and flips and tucks and oh my, oh my, oh my. Such fun stuff. Let's see. And the last thing. Oh, no, a couple more things. The tiniest little alphabet. Look how cute. They're so cute. And some adhesive mounting squares. Just little, little teeny. They're not foamy, so they're not going to give dimension. They're just going to give stick. I don't know if they still work. We'll have to try that out. Um, a truckload of seed. Uh, these are beads. Not seeds. Some of them are seed beads. Um, lots and lots of different kinds and colors of beads. Must have been some project because they're all nicely, neatly packaged. Never opened. Storage for said beads, maybe. Or some little seed beads. color. Ooh, shiny. Oh, here's another package. Such pretty colors. You know, if they're so random, love them. These are kind of pretty. I remember making these with probably glue, glue and string and some glitter, but they're fun and they make a nice sparkly something or other embellishments, certainly. Uh, beads for spine jewelry and book bling. More beads. More beads. I like these. He um, hematite. Beads. Very fun. Some funky. Woo. Woo. Disco. Uh, it's not really washi tape. It's funky tape. And it's funky. I'll tell you. It'd have to be glued down well if I'm going to use it for anything. Again, more storage. Um, these two, I, I think they're planters. They feel like planters. They look like planters where you would put a plant in. But I'm thinking tall storage. I'm not sure exactly what, but my studio I just redid in uh, gray and white and silver. Um, so these will probably be storage of some sort. Oh, look. More Christmas goodies. And a whole bunch of really beautiful magazines. I have a lot of magazines, but I don't have these kind. And you get completely different ads and completely different stuff with different magazines rather than just the Better Homes and Gardens and Women's Day that I do have. Um, I did get a whole bunch of freebies from the library, but again, it's always good to have different things. So these are all going to be harvested for my themes that I'm working on endlessly to at least quell the butterfly and botanical stuff. Well, I do believe that is all I have from the halls uh, post deciding I'm not going to get any more stuff because I have too much stuff already in my little room. Yeah, right after that, this all came. <laughs> so I'm telling you again, I'm all done. I'm not getting any more stuff. No more stuff until the grab bags are gone. And I make about, uh, I don't know, 112,000 journals with the stuff I have. And then I can go buy some more stuff. I think that's the new rule. Thank you for hanging out with me. And seeing all my cool goodies. Again, if you have any ideas about that little cookbook, this this tired little little booger, <laughs> what would you do with that? I'd love to know. Other than trash it. You know, other than trash it. Anyway, you guys have a lovely, lovely crafty day. My take of the lake. Out for now. <laughs>